we're using a small place here because they're a little bit harder to identify than the larger one. If you look at the size of the head in proportion to the body, you can see it's a lot smaller than the flounders. And then if you look at the orange spots on the fish, they're a lot brighter than you get in the flounder as well. And the general coloration of the fish is they are greeny, browny colour, though small ones can be mottled. Then if we look at the tail, you can see that it's rounded and proportionally it's smaller than the large square tail of a flounder. And the rest of the tail is very small and flares pretty much straight out into the tail. Then if you look between the eyes and the edge of the gill cover, there is always this row of bony knobs. That's very definitive for a place. In a flounder, there will be tubercles in this area and all the way along the lateral line and the base of the dorsal and anal fins. The back of the fish is completely smooth, unlike a dab where if you rubbed it from tail to head it would be rough. And then if we turn the fish over, you can see that the underside is white, but it's a translucent white and there's a distinctive herringbone pattern. Whereas a flounder would be solid white and a dab would be pretty much transparent. That's all for now. See you later.